What's going on guys? Country Boys and Catfish here. Uh, today I'm going to do something that I've never done on my channel. Uh, I hope it helps some of y'all out. Even the ones that just watch it because you want to see what this stuff really does. Uh, <clears throat> most of y'all know I've got a center console boat. And boat. Can't talk. It's like 100 degrees out here so I'm sorry for the fan noise. But fat boy got to stay cool. But anyway. Uh. I'm not going to ruin the whole video because when I get done with it, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a walkthrough on my boat. But uh, the floor looked horrible. Uh, guy before me had it. I don't know if it sat under trees or what, but the white just I couldn't get it clean. I've bleached it. I put every kind of cleaner you can imagine on it. So and, and it was kind of slick. I mean, it get wet. Uh, had a guy on my boat the other day that fell. I don't like that. Uh, me having a jacked up back. You know, I, I, I damn sure don't want to fall. So, uh, I've been looking into different stuff via internet, local hardware stores. And I said, well, what I'll do, I'll just go to a hardware store. And I wanted to go gray on the inside of my boat because that's, you know, that's the color of my seat's going to be. But uh, I really like gray. As y'all can't tell, my business shirts are gray, everything. But anyway, uh, and I, I was just going to go hardware store hopping I guess you'd call it and find some discount gray paint put sand in it man I hope that wasn't rain uh put sand in it and make a gritty floor well I went to Lowe's and uh I told the woman you know what I was gonna do and she said well this stuff right here it works really good and I'm gonna I don't really know if you can see it but uh it's called it's in a in there. you can't really see it. it's called deck correct and she said you can get it any color you want so i said of course gray but uh i put it on there and man i'm telling you what the grit in this stuff the surface is immaculate i love it i mean it, it you do not slide it's it's gritty i'll tell you that uh to say the least i would highly that is rain I would highly recommend uh, doing your fiberglass. Mine's fiberglass. I don't know about aluminum. I don't know if it'll stick to it. I didn't review it because I sold my aluminum boat. But the the fiberglass boat, it adhered to it really well. I am very happy with the outcome. But I'm gonna see if I can get. I still got a lot to do, but let's see if I can get it on the on the camera there, right there. I mean, it is gritty. It it. I think it'll do good uh, on the boat with with water. I think the the grit will really will really help with the slipping and, and stuff like that. So guys, if if you're looking to redo your floor in your your boat, uh, if you're looking, I'm actually going to do. I've got a deck that goes all the way around my house, uh, a wooden deck. It's nice, but I'm really really considering uh, putting this stuff on my deck. I'm definitely going to do it on uh, my landscaping rig, the floor of it. I'm going to do that. Uh, but it's just, it is a great product. I think, I want to say it was 35 bucks for a gallon. And I've got a 21-foot boat here. And I've done the inside, the side walls, up the side of it, the top rail, uh, and still got a half a gallon left. So I'm going to go back over it. I'm just going to use it till it's gone. Just because of the fact, you know, a boat takes a beating in the sun out there on the lake and stuff. Don't matter if you cover it up at home, but I mean, if you're on a lake a lot, you know, it's going to, it's just going to take a beating from the sun. So I'm just going to put as much on it as I possibly can. Uh, I'll just get soaking ass wet. But uh, I'm going to put as much on it as I can and just for the durability of it but I, I i highly recommend this this it's called deck correct you, you get it at lowe's i don't know where else you can get it but it's like 35 bucks a gallon plus tax and it a little has gone a long ways like i said i still got half a gallon and my boat's done almost i got a little bit of trim work to do uh i've got to take my center console apart because i'm re i'm recovering my seats well my stepdaughter's gonna recover my seats but uh that's the best way to do it right you can get somebody else to do it it's always better but uh i gotta take my center console apart i'm gonna uh redo a couple things on it i don't like the way it's set up uh 
you know how it is when you first get a boat you kind of you're anxious you want to get it on the water put fish in it but uh there's just some things i don't like about it so i'm going to redo the whole center console and then me and my buddy phil we're going uh I, i've i've redone i've covered all, i've redone all the holes and i can't talk today redone all the holes in the side rail while the rod holders was all that shit uh there's two holes big holes for i guess for drifting rod holders i'm i'm assuming uh, that it's some kind of damn rod holder but i'll never use it but i was gonna do those but i think i'm just gonna leave them open uh and put uh use that for my net because i've got such a big ass net and, and it's always in my way so i think i'm just gonna uh, run a piece of pvc let me walk it down here and show you what i'm talking about just a piece it's got a mess of it this is what was in it this and it goes here like this but it's like a drifting rod holder or some sort but i think i don't like it so i think i'm just gonna cut me a piece of pvc i've already got some laying over there i'm gonna put pvc down in both holes and uh I'm going to utilize the holes for a net. I don't know what the other one I'm going to use it for, but all the same, I'm going to use it. So, uh, pretty soon, guys, I'm going to do a, uh, I said last week, I know in a video that I was going to do a walk around on my boat and stuff, but that was before uh, I decided to paint the floor or cover the floor, coat the floor, however you want to do it. Uh, but it's a really nice boat. It just needs some love. It runs top notch. I mean, I can't complain about it complain about the way it runs uh my depth finder i love everything about it but there's just some things i want different and when you're out there on the water for 10 12 14 hours you want it to suit you so uh but back to the back to the floor i highly recommend it if if you want to go cheap and most of my subs know i'm probably the biggest cheap skate you'll know you know so i try to try to go cheap but this is 35 bucks for a gallon and the texture oh my god it's just i wet the floor <clears throat> i painted the floor yesterday day before yesterday i got up here this morning and uh well i've been doing the there was a couple holes in the side rail i've been doing a little prep on that and sanding them and all that and i was wanting to get uh, all the trash and stuff out of the back of it because i'm fixing to put the final coat on it if it don't rain uh but I just soaked the floor. I said, well, I'm gonna get up there and I jacked my boat up as far as I could with the with the uh, the thing on the front. Hell, I don't know what you call it, but anyhow. Uh, I soaked it down, you know, cleaned it, and I got up there. I was trying to slide, and it just it just didn't happen. I mean, it, so it, I think it's gonna hold up well. I highly, highly, highly recommend uh, putting this on your boat floor. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but you do the trim work and the stuff that's going to take the brunt of the beating uh from the sun is your side rails your floor 35 bucks if it lasts two three years you can recoat it and pressure wash it recoat it in 15 20 minutes you won't have to do the trim because most of your trim is going to be hidden uh from the sun so uh but i, I highly recommend it. it's called uh one more time uh, shit what was that hot oh, damn i don't said it twice deck correct it's called deck correct it's in the yellow can uh you can get it any color you want i picked mine up from lowe's and no i'm not getting paid to say this but when i find a good product hey i go with it so if you want your boat floors to be slip resistant i highly highly recommend this stuff uh but guys y'all have a good one i'm gonna get off here and i want to get my boat finished because i plan on being on the lake sometime this week and Y'all have a good one, and I don't think I'm going to get it done because I'm going to get a soaked ass. We'll see y'all in the next one. Have a good one.